So during the past few weeks, I've been paying attention to AI projects even more. As you know, AI is the leading narrative during this cycle with everything blowing up along with GameFi and then meme coins as well. Now I came across this really interesting project that if you're not following Twitter or X, you wouldn't have noticed it. It's actually called Base AI. Now Base AI, when I first came across of it, it reminds me a lot of Tau BitTensor. I have to be honest, I actually missed out on BitTensor Tau because it was way too complicated. It still is complex to explain today. Now, Base AI is a complicated project, but I'm gonna to try to break it down in easy to understand everyday language that I understand it in. So for those of you who are new to this channel, my name is Colin, what is up? What I do is I try to provide value to you, projects that I think are solid so that you can add something in your crypto journey. Now remember that none of this is financial advice. The crypto market is extremely risky and volatile and nine out of 10 people actually lose their money in this market. So make sure you do your own research and due diligence before you get into any project. So let's first take a look at the chart of base AI and see where it's at and then let's go into the fundamentals of the project. If you take a look at base AI right now it's trading at $8.80. It recently popped up above $10 okay and then if you take a look at the market cap it looks like a big market cap $315 million. In terms of liquidity there's about 8 million of liquidity about 6.6 thousand holders so 6,600 and so we talked about total market cap and look at its daily volume at 2.3 million. And then total supply is at 35.66 million, okay? Now, when you first take a look at base, you may think, oh, Colin, this is a big market cap. I'm gonna back off right from there because I'm looking for my three, $2 million market cap so I can do 100X. I talk about micro caps on this channel, but at the same time, I don't just talk about micro caps. I talk about solid fundamental projects. Now, had I faded, let's say, Tau Bit Tensor at $200 million, it would not be where it is today if you had faded the project based on the market cap. So I don't want you guys to always dismiss a project based on its market cap. And it recently just got rolling. So hear me out and listen to the fundamentals before you fade this project, because I think this project has potential to be one of the biggest projects within the AI space. So let's jump over to their website to understand why this project is so important. Now this project is building its very own layer one protocol that focuses on your privacy using ZK, so the zero knowledge proofs, LLM, which are the large language models that AI employs. And of course with smart contracts. Now the reason why that's so important is because everyday life, you know, you're browsing the internet, at all times you're being spied upon, you know, there's data leakages, people are trying to steal your identity, big brother, like the government's watching you and then also bad actors and hackers are always trying to get at you. So for all of those reasons, privacy is extremely important. Also on an industrial level as well. So just think about all the businesses from financial institutions, banks, to healthcare businesses where the preservation of privacy and patient confidentiality is right at the top when you're taking a look at from a business and then also from a healthcare sector as well. So for all of those applications, something like this really leaps out at you. So if we go onto the white paper, it actually lands on right over here. Notice it says Cornell University. So Sean Wellington is one of the founders of the project and also one of the original members of the team as well. He wrote this entire paper right over here. Uh, if you have time, definitely go through it, but there's a lot of technical details in there. We're gonna break it down and summarize it in a way that's easier to understand, at least how I understand it. Sean Wellington is also a graduate from Berkeley as well. He's written a bunch of good papers on cryptography and within this area as an expert within the area. So it's not some degen sitting in the basement and trying to come up with their own layer one. These people are actually legit coders and people who know what they're doing within this space. So that was just answering the question of why this technology is critical to us as end users and businesses. Now, how does Base AI achieve this? In order to understand that, we have to really break down the key of ZK, so zero knowledge proofs, along with LLM, so large language models, which AI employs in order to solve this problem. So first, LLMs, large language model. Think about these as AI models that has trained on a huge amount of data in order to understand it and then generate human-like language. Most of you are already using it without knowing it. An example of this is ChatGPT by OpenAI, where they've trained on 
billions amounts of text and data in order to translate it back to natural language processing in order to help us with our everyday. You can ask a question. You can have it do your homework. You can have it do different types of tasks. So that is an example of an LLM in action. So the second key portion is the ZK, the Zero Knowledge Cryptographic Protocol. If you take a look at this diagram right here, it explains it well. It shows that what you can do with Zero Knowledge is it allows the prover, okay, in order to prove to another party, the verifier, that a statement is true without ever revealing any additional information. So your information is always kept secret in this area right over here. And I saw this quote online. I really liked how it illustrates ZK proof. It's like solving a puzzle without ever seeing the picture, keeping your data secure while getting the job done. So here's an example which I think illustrates this process best and how this model works right out from their white paper. So if you take a look here, here's a healthcare provider, your doctor. They take your data, so a patient data, any patient, that data is actually fed in and encrypted, okay? That encrypted prompt is sent over for processing, the miners are working on it, just like a proof of work like Bitcoin, and then actual data is spit out, encrypted data results are sent, it's being decrypted and given back to the healthcare provider. Now what's so significant about this? The significant part is you're allowing the AI model to actually process data that's encrypted, so at this whole process, the patient's personal identity, you know, privacy is never being revealed to the AI model. So the AI model can actually process encrypted data, which is a significant leap within this field. You're letting this model interact with the data using zero knowledge proofs, okay, and just interacting with the cryptographic protocol in order to analyze the data. I think this is going to be groundbreaking for institutions like hospitals, like financial institutions, and places that deal with security. At the heart of it, this is exactly what the model is. So in today's video, I don't have enough time to go through the white paper, but if you have time, definitely check out Sean Wellington's white paper on this. This is a legit academic paper that he recently published. You can actually go through and see all of the details of how they're applying ZK LLMs in order to solve this conundrum and this problem. I think this will be one of the most significant AI projects within the space and it's groundbreaking. It almost reminds me of that Bitcoin paper when they talked about peer-to-peer -peer transaction, but of course in a different way. So I do think that this project will be significant within this field. So let's talk tokenomics so that you know what you're getting yourself into. If you take a look right here, it's 35 million circulating. You can actually check that against Etherscan. You can see that there's about 35,669,000, uh, you know, base AI tokens, roughly 6,641 uh, holders of this token. So jumping over to the tokenomics, the first thing that may leap out at you when you're reading it is there's going to be an infinite supply of base AI tokens. Now, before you get scared, let's take a look at the model carefully. If you take a look right over here it says base AI issues 10 base tokens for every 10 seconds as an incentive to the brains within the network so what are the brains within the network and if we go up just one section we can see that the brains are kind of like the subnets or the groups where the miners and validators have to pick in order to generate base tokens so brain owners are incentivized with base to manage their brains properly by selecting you know worthwhile ZK LLMs and incentive models that will attract Computational power from both miners and validators. And if we could quickly go down to here, you can see miners are gonna pick a brain, register it with the wallet like everything else, choose the option to dedicate GPU resources, and then choose how much of your device you're gonna to allocate towards this. And then finally, optional is to stake your base to the brain and then start mining. So basically the minings and the validators are going to start approving those transactions and working towards solving that puzzle in order to generate base tokens. And coming back to the tokenomics, scrolling down to here, we can see they're having schedule. In order to manage that inflationary risk that happens every single year to the base AI token, right? It undergoes a schedule where a halving event will occur annually. So every year there will be a halving event, kind of like Bitcoin's halving event every four years, okay? If you take a look here at year one, notice the block reward is 10. So the base emission during this year is about 31,536,000, okay? As you go to year two, notice the block rewards dropped by a half, so to fly 
1.5, then 2.5, then you know year four 1.25, and then 0.625. So every single year, it's going to combat inflation because of the rewards for each block where the miners or validators are mining for the block is going to drop into half. So for those of you who are worried about how there's no cap on this tokenomics, well, remember that some of the best projects like Ethereum did not have a finite cap on their tokenomics as well. If you look at Ethereum through ultrasound money, notice the change since the merge. It's actually a minus, right? And if you go down in terms of supply growth, it is now deflationary every single year. So going back to the having schedule and this reward system, I do not worry about base having any trouble because I believe it will follow the trajectory of growth great projects like Ethereum. So the last part of the story is interesting and also cool and ties in meme culture. So the team that's working on Base AI is also the same team that founded the original Pepe coin, okay? So now, if you take a look at this post right over here, uh, by Backpiggy, it says TLDR, the true story behind Pepe coins. So when he says Pepe coins, these are the original Pepe project, okay? And what is Base AI all about. So the OGs who founded Pepe Coin, the first meme coin that we had beside Dogecoin in 2016, it didn't launch through any ICO or smart contract that was released, okay? It launched through mining like Bitcoin and Dogecoin. Uh, it was first under the radar because Bittrex, one of the centralized exchange, actually caused them to rebrand. So in 2006, Pepe Coin faced a major challenge when white supremacists and right-wing ideologists began using Pepe to spread their ideology. And this reached a climax. Uh, you remember when Donald Trump posted a Pepe meme about himself. Now remember, this is not a political channel. I am apolitical. Uh, we're just stating what's there, okay? So we're not here to talk about politics, but we're here to talk about coins and how we can make money. And then Hillary Clinton accused Trump's campaign of spreading these Pepe's. The Anti-Defamation League went on to list Pepe as a hate symbol. And because of all of this, they made Pepe rebrand to the ticker meme. So the original Pepe had to rebrand to meme. Okay. Now, in response to that, the Pepe coin team launched Kekdak, okay, a decentralized meme and, and asset exchange protocols. So this was way before even NFT marketplaces like OpenSea was ever built. And then finally, in 2023, the team bridged the Pepe coin to ETH, okay. However, Pepe was stolen by Pepe coin ETH. So if you take a look at this carefully, okay, this Pepe coin ETH is different from the Pepe coin. So it was stolen by these guys in 2023. The team at Pepe coins mentioned that in 2023, Pepe stole their idea, their narrative, their logo, and ran with it, okay? So if I just show you right over here. So these are the people who stole the original Pepe coin, the logo and everything. They've ran it up to three billion. So notice the ticker is Pepe. Whereas right over here, according to the history, Pepe coin, the original Pepe coin, okay, is right now trading at 577 million. So that's why everybody online, if you notice on X and Twitter, they said that the Pepe was going to happen. You know, the great flipping, but in this case, Pepe, is that the original Pepe coin is going to flip these guys right over here that stole their logo, stole their image, that is running hard with it right now. So let's go back to this post right over here, okay? So that's what all this history was about. So here comes the next major phase of Pepe coins, so the original Pepe owners, okay, is that they made base AI. They're building an open, you know, AI layer one network, which we talked about for the last while, that anyone can run with their own decentralized AI model powered by GPU mining, or proof of useful work right over here as they call it, okay? So basically this entire history was really interesting, really exciting. To go back in time, I encourage you to take a look at this history because I think once the market realizes this, that the original team behind the original Pepe is also building base AI, I think that's going to shake the market to its core and people are going to put two and two together and think that this is a very genius project by some devs and you know the, the original OG guys who are willing to put in time and it's not just some cash grab that somebody else stole. And if we just come right back to the website and you click on Brain Launch right over here and you go down, you could see that they said that you have to stake about 100,000 Pepe for three months, okay, Pepe coins, you know, in order to mint the brain. So there's two ways. One way is staking your Pepe coin, the original Pepe, or the other way is burning Pepe coins. So burn Pepe coin in exchange for brain credits at an increasing rate starting at one Pepe coin for one brain credit. So if all brains are burnt or issued, 
about 107 million Pepe coins. So 80% of the supply of Pepe coin is going to be burned. So for those of you who are also trading memes as well, this Pepe coin has ran very hard. So the original Pepe coin, right? Over the past month, it's really jumped from like 70, 80 cents all the way to $4. Now, if they end up minting all of the brains out, now, I'm just going to go right back here. If you end up minting all the brains, you're going to destroy 107 million. So I don't think the market is ready for that. Right now, there's only 133 million circulating Pepe coins. Once they burnt 80% of that supply, there's going to be a supply shock. And theoretically, Pepe coins are going to skyrocket. They've already skyrocketed. But right now, it's trading at five, 600 million compared to, you know, the quote unquote, the people who stole their Pepe coin that's trading at three, four billion dollars. Okay, so the first thousand Pepe coin burnt receives first thousand brain credits right over here. Second thousand Pepe coin burnt, you receive 800 brain credits. So if we look at this chart, I'm just going to blow up this chart so that you can see. So here's how you mint brain. Okay, so first brain is minted with Pepe coin. Okay, you have to get brain credits by burning Pepe coins or staking them. As the more brains that are minted, so the more subnets or groups of brains that are minted, the more expensive this is going to cost all the way to about a thousand, you know, 24 brains. So that's a maximum number of brains that's going to be minted. And notice the Pepe coins, you're now burning 205 Pepe coins for every single one of the base credits, okay? So all the way down over here, base credits in order to mint your brain, you start out with one Pepe coin burnt per one base credit, and this starts to increase. So that's the entire mechanism of burning Pepe coins or staking Pepe coins in order to mint brains, in order to generate base tokens as rewards over time. Okay, so what are my thoughts on this project? Well, I've started building a position in this project. So full disclosure, when I took a look at this project, it was complex to understand, but I hopefully, I broke it down enough so that you can understand it at a level that I can, okay? So I started building, uh, you know, a, a position in this project roughly between 480 and $5. Of course, you don't ape all in. And remember, none of this is financial advice, but I do think that this project has the right narrative. It has awesome tech, has a great team behind it, and I think it's going to pull one of these render, um, you know, Tau BitTensor run. So watch out for this project. I will continuously build into this project a stronger position as I see the market drop or any major pullbacks. I will continue to build into this project. So overall, a very positive, you know, outlook for Base AI. I would not be surprised by the time the entire market realized what's going on with Base AI and they have this aha moment, you know, this eureka moment, a lot of people are going to be aping into Base AI. Finally, if you take a look at the transactions of the people purchasing base AI, take a look at this transaction right over here. You have a lot of whales buying, but this particular whale on March 24 actually bought $505,000. That's half a million dollars of token. Unfortunately, they got sandwiched by the MAV bots. But regardless of the point, if you actually look through the transaction, the different buys and sell, you'll see that a lot of whales have started to take notice. Now, not a lot of people are following the project. So for me, this is still early in the infancy of the project. So please go and do your own due diligence and research. Check out this project. I think it's a great project. All right, guys, that's all I got for you. I hope that you found some value in this project and learned a lot more about base AI, you know, the original Pepe coins. So if you like what you saw, please give this video a like and consider subscribing tomorrow to my channel. I will see you next time.